everyone. Welcome again to another edition of MSUM, the acronym for making something out of nothing. This is our class all about recycled crafts, making upcycled things, uh, refurbishing pieces or found objects that we generally could reuse to make something beautiful. My name is Kimberly Wright and today we will be having the second part of our paper cycle. So first I want to ask everyone if they had a chance, first I'll give you all a chance to uh, unmute yourselves. You can unmute yourselves. Did anyone get a chance to finish the three portions that we did last week? We did a large wheel. Anybody want to show their wheels? Let me see a larger Miss Betty. Hold on, let me go to Miss Betty first. Okay. Okay, that's your large one? Uh-huh. Can I see a small one held up beside that one? Okay. Those are the small ones. Okay, it looks good. All right. Also, Miss Betty, since I'm right here on you, did you get a chance to make the holder, the container? No. Okay, for I didn't get that part. Okay, so how many Just were we say supposed to? Or no, like if you didn't get to make it. Yes, no. no. Mm -mm. Oh, no. Okay, so anybody else have any wheels or uh, pieces that they want to show? Anybody? What? Y'all didn't make no wheels? Uh, no. Uh, I didn't know about that. All right, now we're going on to the second part if y'all don't do that. Well, anyway, if you jot it down, any of the instructions, that's fine. If not, you'll have to go back to YouTube to see part one of the paper cycle. Yes, you're supposed to have rolled some of these paper tubes. So the way we did that was with a dowel. All right, before I go on into that, today you're going to need glue once again. I have glue in that uh, contain, uh, dispenser, like for condiments or something. I have scissors. You're going to probably need some tape. I use tape, but some people could possibly use clips to hold pieces while they are gluing or drying. And remember, I had this rolling pin, although you don't need it because you can use your hands to uh, flatten the paper tubes out. Did anybody have any palm uh, art, the fun palm art that they wanted to show? No? <laughs> I didn't finish All right. this. So I'm just going to go ahead and spotlight on my video and go ahead and go to the next the next steps of the project. So the next thing you want to do, let's come a little bit closer. All right. The next thing you want to do is take I would say about three paper tubes. Take about three paper tubes. And like I said before, if you don't know how to uh, measure them properly, just like by, by looking at them by eyeing them, then you can use a ruler. Just have my ruler here. So, what I do is I take the ruler there, sit it, find my six mark, and just draw a line through it and cut them. So don't forget to actually snip the ends where they are diagonal to make sure that they end up straight. 
So right now I have six tubes that will cut in half. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right, I'm moving it out of the way. And I'm gonna take a piece of card stock. You can use cardboard, whatever you want to. It's just to give your piece a little stability in the base. All right. So what I'm gonna do is take one of my wheels. Sorry, yeah, that's what you need, a piece of paper too. So before we go on with the six tubes and the piece of paper, I'm gonna sit that to the side. All right. You can use the regular size dowel, whichever dowel that you use to complete the next portion of the piece. Like this is the regular dowel size that I used for these tubes that we've been building with. See, it's pretty much the same size. However, I, I switched to a smaller, skinnier dowel so that I could make a few, uh, sorry. So that I could make a few slimmer, paper tubes and they look like so. So here's the smaller dowel. The reason why I did that is because I want to create the spokes, the spokes inside of the tire. So once again, sorry, I'm going to grab a piece of cardstock. This is the easiest way for me to do it and if you find that you have other ways that made it easy for you to go ahead. So I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take my large wheel and just place it on top of the paper. And I'm gonna trace the circle that's in the inside, the inside circle of the wheel. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is take one of those slimmer paper tubes and inside the circle, I'm basically, don't forget, again, I have to snip those diagonal edges. And since my tire, my wheel is already black, I'm gonna choose to use like white spokes. Anyway. So I'm taking a piece of the dowel and taking it to the center and measuring my first spoke, which is gonna be, this is gonna be the only piece that's long and uh, whole in the whole piece. The other six pieces will be short pieces going around. So I just go ahead and take that and even though I could go ahead and make my short, shorter spokes, I'm not gonna do that because I wanna go ahead and get this to start drying. Okay, as I can see, I cut it a little bit short, so I have to, sh I have to cut another one. This time I'm gonna make it a little bit longer just so I won't make a mistake. And now that's fitting without glue. So you know it's like a good size. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put my glue there on the edges. Some of it is kind of go down into the, into the hole, so to speak, but it's okay. You don't have to like use a lot. You can re-put uh, more glue on the spokes as when they are basically completely done. So you wanna find where you pretty much want it and make sure you level it in the center inside of the wheel. And so now we're gonna go ahead and make the other spokes. And as you can see in this particular piece, which is one of the small wheels, this is the long piece and these are the other six that are short. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that right quick. And how I do that is I take the piece and I sit 
in the center as far as I can, the paper to the side of the spoke that I put in and just make a mark as well with the pen where I feel like it's going to lie even so to speak. So if that particular piece fits, you can kind of use that one. See, this is too long. It's not a little bit too long. Sorry. We're going to put that down just a bit and see if it fits now. All right. So that's a good fit. However, I'm going to go ahead and use this piece as a guide or a pattern to cut my other pieces. So I'm lining it with the a piece of the paper two and I'm going on ahead and making about six pieces. That's how many you need for the spokes if you want it to look like really complete. One, two, three, four. And I try to use, uh, as far as the spokes, some of the paper tubes that feel really sturdy and hard. One, two, three, four, five. And we need one more. Six. One, two, three, and I already put one. Four, five. So now you just go ahead and one, two, three, four, five. This one seems really long. It's not on the line. Six. All right. Go ahead and first, before you add the glue, just, you know, make sure it fits wherever you're going to put it before you have glue running everywhere. And then go ahead and just start to assemble. If I place one spoke on one side, and I'm going to go directly across from it to get it some type of pressure. If you have uh, the paper tube that you made previously and they are fitting inside there, then you can go ahead and use those. I just chose to uh, use a smaller, pull up, a smaller piece so that it could uh, look more proportionate. So this is how that piece looks. And I'm going on ahead and adding the Miss Janetta Bushell, you got your hair raised. Oh, that's just how your picture looks. Okay. <laughs> I see you got like a little emoji lady that has her hair raised. That's cute. If you all, while I am working, if you all have any questions that you want to ask, feel free to just Go right on in. All right, I'm going on to the next side. It looks like one of my pieces are too long, but I'm just going to choose another one before I put it down. But in some of the corners, it may just fit. So, Kimberly, that's just really a real However, that's the next set, and I have two more to add up and down. Kim, so I'm going to go ahead and add those so they can start drawing. He was up. He couldn't I get it. A couple of pieces down. They were a little bit tad too long. Okay, I got that one done. And Miss Vicky had a question. And they're just flying everywhere. When I Kimberly. Like, usually not. Kimberly. 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 All what is happening? Pop out, but however, you just keep uh, going. No. And I have one more. Kimberly. Right here. So I'm going to measure that. We really can't hear you. Too long. I'm just switching. Hello. Is she on mute? Anthony, call her, please. That's perfect. I'm going to add some glue on the opposite end. I already had some on one end. 
It's not on you. It's not. It was it was in a chair, but you got to put it behind the sofa. So what that meant is that that piece was to. Are we having fun? That we can't she can't hear us. She's so uh, she's so wrapped up in making. <laughs> well, we gonna have to get her. <laughs> we can't see what she's making though. Kimberly, Hello, Kimberly. Kimberly, we can't. Can you hear us? So give me one Kimberly. second. Can she you just can't hear us. Hello, Kimberly. Kim. Kim. You may have even mute her phone too. <laughs> Kim, 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 can't, you can't hear hey. us. You can't hear us. Kim. Hello, Kim. I just put her on the phone and told her that y'all can hear. Kim, you can't, you can't hear, hear us. Can you hear us? hear us? I can't hear anybody. We heard you. That was the Sorry. issue. Can you hear me now? Yes. We can hear, not the, we can hear you. Let me call her back. No. That's not, well, your pad is upside down. Let me well, call her back. I can hear you. Can hear me now, right? Yes. I can hear can't you. Hear us. I can hear you all now. Okay. Right. Were you able to hear me the whole time? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, As, I asked a question. Is that a wheel uh, on on the to attached to that little uh, box, that little jar you made, or what jar? You made a container. The whole and then you started thing. making the wheels. What about it? Uh, you only have those um, one big wheel and two small wheels, right? Yes, ma'am. So, are they going to attach to the container that you made? Uh, I, I, I'm not. I'm not trying to be smart, Miss Vicky, but obviously, because the thing is, all these components go together. You haven't okay. made your first parts. I know. I haven't made. I made. Well, I did make the first part. I made these things. <laughs> yeah, that's like the equipment to actually get to. Working a piece, but however, it's okay. Don't forget, young people, last week, the reason why I made two, you only need one, because I was making two at the same time, so I would be able to show you finished project products. Miss Vicky, that was a good, good question. All of these components are going together. Okay, I just wanted to know because, you know, I'm very, we're, I'm really busy, so I would like to work on it. I didn't know what we were doing. So I kept saying to you all, I did not want to say exactly what we was making, but still follow what I'm doing as it pertains to the instructions. But I did say last week we were making a cycle. And then this week is part two of the cycle. So right now you're supposed to be having one wheel, a large wheel, and again, it's a little bit larger than my hand, the large wheel, but the smaller wheels are about the size of the palm of my hand. I've already made these spokes inside of the wheel and this one I just completed. So after you complete that, you'll see like some little spaces in between it if you wanna add a little glue to that, just to make sure to uh, ensure stability. I'm doing it on the edges as well. Just be very careful and gentle with that piece. Sorry about the volume, young people. Thank you for that. Miss Spartan and everybody. All right, I added some glue and now I'm going to stick that to the side to dry. All right, another thing is when you have the half pieces, we're going to go ahead and roll one so that you will have that step. I'm trying to find one that's a little soft. All right, you want to take one of the tubes, flatten it by smashing it. You can roll it over it with a rolling pin. Some people don't have a, a 
really good strong grip so you may need different tools to help you do that however what you want to do is i like to just cut this in half you may want yours in a third but i cut mine in half and you can hand roll it hand roll like so a couple of spirals So we're making two of these. As you can see, I'm almost, instead of rolling all the way, I wanna add some glue so that it doesn't come loose. And you, as you can see, I have one little half of a paper tube hand roll, and I'm gonna go ahead and hand roll another piece so once you cut these pieces they may start to unravel a little bit all you have to do is just add some glue yeah it unravels now i'm going to add, add some glue to that piece and start to hand roll a spiral a paper spiral i had once again one uh one paper coil, one paper tube, and I cut it in half after I flattened it. And now I'm making my second spiral. This is optional. You can use whatever you want to make your cycle different as it pertains to design and decoration. But this spiral is part of the deco. So once again, you'll always keep paper towels, something wet around you so you can kind of clean up your fingers from that glue because this project does have a lot of glue on your head. All right, for this particular piece, we're gonna come back to this, but these spirals are going to go on the outside of the wheel. However, on the large wheel, you have to add the handlebars to the wheel before you add these decorative spirals, but I've already added the spirals to my small wheel, as you can see. On the side, you see it sticking out. And I chose the best side of the spokes to put the spiral on because the opposite side is going to be where the seat for the holder is sitting. And this is my second wheel, small wheel. That's how the little spiral looks it's just a design you could possibly use a button or some type of bling i don't know be creative all right now we're going back to those six tubes that we cut in half and the card stop what you want to do is find use your small wheel and find the large uh spoke the one that was complete and you want to take your paper and line it up against that to make a line as it pertains to where you're going to sit the particular container. So when you, as soon as I cut this out, I will be able to show you. And however far you want your wheels to be from each other, I would say that's about, let me measure it. Actually, the, the, the width of the seat, you want it to be as wide as the, the actual container to be able to sit on, sit on it. So I'm gonna measure the one that I've completed and it's gonna be about maybe five, five inches. So I'm going on ahead and making this. And the piece is going to look somewhat like this. And so what you're going to do is take some Elmer's glue, whatever glue you're using. I just go ahead and put it all on that piece, that particular piece, and go ahead and line the the uh, paper tubes up on it vertically, right along with the 
paper. So I'll show you that as soon as I get these pieces on there, that's one, two, three, four, five. I'm supposed to have one more, six. So what I'm gonna do is roll that over, add just a little bit more glue on the end. That's gonna be my six point. All right, so I'm just lining this up. As you can see, I've glued these six pieces to the paper. This is the paper on the back, and these, this is the six tubes. You're gonna allow that to dry for some time. It doesn't have to be completely dry, but just strong enough so that it doesn't come loose. And then you're gonna add some glue to the edge, the bottom edge of the piece. You're gonna add glue to the complete spoke in the wheel, and you're going to actually uh, set it there. That's what I'm just gonna go ahead and do. And I'll show you a technique of how I basically have uh, get it to hold. And so I'm adding glue to the inside spoke and uh, making sure this is lined up. The edge, one edge. And before, I'm just gonna let that, uh, this glue tacky for a minute, just get a little dry. While I, while I cut two pieces of tape that's going to hold that for me. So although I have this wide tape, I only need two skinny strips. So I'm just going to actually cut that in half. And sit them on the side of the table. All right. So what I'm going to do is basically balance this piece up here, even on the wheel, like so, and start to put me a piece of tape in the seam of it, and tape it over the wheel, like so, so it can hold. I also have to do that to the other side but there's one step I want to show you so let's get that all right so you need a piece of any of these scraps like I have a scrap right here of the paper tube I like to cut about four even small pieces that I know will fit right in the grooves of this piece meaning this is the bottom edge so I have a piece that's finished to show you. I'm gonna add some glue there and just add this bracket or this bar to help hold it. Looks like this. But I'm gonna show you on a piece that's dry. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that. All right. So I think I can just let that rest here for a while. That's good. All right. So this is a piece that's basically finished with the two wheels. It has the piece in the inside with the six bars going across that way. And I have the paper on the bottom. However, in each corner, I have a piece of uh, paper tube that creates a joint. You see one on the top, the top and the bottom here. It creates a joint or, or makes a pressing for the stability of the piece to be able to hold. Have one on the top, one on the bottom, one on the top, one on the bottom. And so even though this looks, this is really dry and I've um, already taped it and so I've taken the tape off and I'm using painter's tape so that it'll be easy to remove. However, I'm gonna go ahead and glue the other piece there, and then we will, um, let me get my tape together first. I'll explain the next piece, and we will stop for today.
All right, one piece of tape for my next side. And even still, this is going to be a little bit wobbly until you actually get the, um, until you actually get everything together and dry. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-cut those other three pieces that I need to fit in my joint, so to speak, in the grooves or the creases of where the tire is. That's three. All right, so we got that. I want to take the tape off of this one so I can go back and put that groove in it that I did not put in the top part first, but I did put the bottom in. So I'm retaping that, adding some more glue, adding the other side of the groove. One is on the top, one is on the bottom. I'm making sure to align that on that uh, the complete bar and, and, and placing my tape right back over it. Once again, it's a little flimsy until I get everything together. All right, so once I put the other side on, it should hold a little better. All right, we're going to move on to the next part of the big wheel. What you want to do is take three tubes. If you want to write these instructions down, so we started out with eight uh, tubes for each tire, and then 12 for the large tire. All right, I have three tubes. What I'm going to do is Again, see if I'm able to connect the two before I add the glue. I want to connect these three. I'm adding glue to that one. And I want to actually see which end is going to go there before I connect that one. I'm adding glue to this one. These are three tubes connected, paper tubes. All right, so from there with this particular piece, I'm just kidding. What you want to do is try to find the portion what it bended at the portion where it's going to make this all come into a half. And so if it does it immediately, you'll be able to switch it. You see how mine is a little bit long on one edge than the other. So what I'm going to do is just go back just a little bit until I get it even. All right, so I have, I'm still being a little gentle with it because you know I just glued it and it will basically uh, come apart. So I'm squeezing the edge where I bent it and flattening it out a bit. All right, so what you want to do to the two edges that's open. Now it looks like kind of like some tongs that you use in the kitchen. You want to take the two ends that are diagonally open and go ahead and level those out like so. Not too much because you may need all of that length. You may need it. From there what you want to do is take your large wheel and find the spoke that is uh, long and complete, which is this one right here. And you are going to add glue to the upper half, like so, even on the actual wheel. And then you are going to glue one side of that thing that looks like a tongue there and glue the other side as well, like so. 
I don't like to glue all this stuff together until one portion dries. Like the spokes right now seem like they are sticking out or something because they're not dry. So at this point, you can add like some clips or something like that. But first, I'm going to go ahead and flatten this bottom piece out some more. So it'll fit properly. Going back to my wheel. This is supposed to be from the center half up. And what I can do is add some tape to that. You want the tape long enough to hang off so that you'll be able to have somewhere to release it. And it doesn't like actually glue to the piece wherever the glue is. So that's why I have tape hanging out. Now I'm gonna do the other side. All right, I'm adding tape. Let me get another piece. And I'm going to just tape that on there just to hold it while it's drying. Okay. The last, so that's going to look like that, so to speak. The last thing we're going to do for today is take one more paper tube and go ahead and flatten it out. Go ahead and flatten it out. And this is where your hands are going to get a really sticky, kind of like glued up. Wait, where you go? At the top portion right above the wheel, you want to make sure to press those together and hold it because you're going to add glue to this one coil of paper tube that we just flattened out and you're going to wrap it around the piece. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm adding glue to the whole portion. That's why I said your hands are going to get glue on them right now. If you really want it to hold, it's like paper is tough. It's going to take a minute just for it to really get to hold. All right. So what you're going to do is hold the piece where the two pieces of paper are. Hold that really tight. Take the bottom of the coil, the flat one, hold it and start to actually uh, spiral it around that piece to tighten it up. So make sure you hold it tight and pull it tight as you go. Yikes. Once again, I said I wouldn't do these things until they actually get dry because they'll all come loose. However, my wheel fell out, but I can put that back together because um, I know where it goes. So as you can see, I'm spiraling that paper around. I have glue everywhere on my hand. And that's a good thing too, because you want the glue to spread around the paper as you're going to give it um, the moisture enough to actually hold. So, I'm going to wipe my hands and just show you what that's supposed to look like. All right, get my tape back together. 
So next week we should be able to finish this all together because the only thing we have to do is to actually. So the piece that we just made here with the spiral around it is the from the tire coming up right here. And even though we're going to end up cutting the part of the tongue that was together, that's going to create our handlebar right here. So we're going to also make another portion that goes to the back, but I will show you that part next week. Go ahead and work on those pieces, young people. If you don't have any questions, we're going to go ahead and end for today. Are there any questions for today? Thank you so much for joining me, Kimberly Wright, with Making Something Out of Nothing. I will see you next week for part three. And also go ahead and gather the colors that you want your paper cycle to be. And um, just have fun with it. Don't get frustrated. You can do it. Yes. Someone had a question? Thanks for sharing your talent. Oh, thank you so Thanks much for supporting me and uh, coming to the class. God give us. Thank you so God much. Give us See you all next week. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you.